Straight to it, as always, starting with ray tracing shadows quality. First off, what is written here is false. But since it praises sun shadows, we'll start with that. So, when ray tracing shadows quality is turned off, all shadows are controlled by the regular shadows quality setting up here. This looks like this. Basically, all shadows get crisper the higher the setting at a very reasonable FPS cost. We'll move this to the bottom of the screen for an easier comparison. And we can turn on ray tracing shadows quality. So in Blizzard's praised sunlight conditions, ray tracing shadows only affects characters and objects. There is no visual difference from low to high, although it does still cost us additional frames. The quality of ray traced shadows quality is very similar to that of the shadow quality high setting. What is not similar is the jaw dropping massive frame rate drop versus just using the regular shadows quality setting. We also notice ray tracing shadows quality does not affect foliage. If we want to have ray traced foliage as well, we can turn that on down here. And back to our test screen, we see the foliage has now also gained ray traced shadows. This cost us a second massive drop in frames and the foliage literally looks worse than medium non ray traced shadows quality, maybe even closer to low. We're beginning to see why ray tracing in D4 is a big joke. We have nearly identical shadows for a cost of nearly 50% of our frame rate. Now that we've taken a look at Blizzard's praised ray traced shadows from sunlight, I'd like to be thorough and point out that during nighttime conditions, ray traced shadows does in fact look better than the highest non ray traced shadow setting. The main differences being that shadows are a little sharper when closer to a player, but also the light cast on the rest of the environment has a slightly better hue when rendered using ray tracing. Overall, it does look slightly better, but it certainly doesn't justify this 50% FPS loss. In my opinion, the most important part of ray trace shadows would actually be the CPU use. It is considerably lower when shadows are rendered using the ray tracing tensor cores instead of your CPU. So on the off chance that you are playing with a CPU bottleneck, you could use ray tracing to compensate by taking some of that work off your CPU. Recommendation is obviously going to be ray traced foliage off and ray traced shadows quality is turned off. Check my main Diablo 4 setting benchmark video for the in-depth analysis of all the settings up here, including more details on shadows quality. Next up, we have ray traced reflections quality. When set to off, reflections will be controlled by the screen space reflections setting up here, which looks like this. A barely visible and blurry reflection you can barely make out. When we enable ray traced reflections, we get a better reflection of our character. Spell effects gain reflections, as well as environmental reflections, although they are so blurry and inaccurate that they are likely not a true reflection, but rather a reflection of a static image. Ray traced low versus high doesn't have any noticeable differences, aside from costing us a few frames. Thus, the simple question here becomes, is ray traced reflections worth losing 25% FPS over? When you take into consideration this murky water is among the few and extremely rare reflective surfaces you'll encounter in Diablo 4, and the fact that clip is a best case scenario standing still in just the right spot. During normal gameplay, even on this reflective body of water, it becomes pretty apparent ray traced reflections really doesn't live up to any hype. It's even worse when you consider the drop in frames is always there, regardless if there's any reflections on screen, making it easy to recommend setting this one to off. And this brings us to the final and biggest joke of a setting, ray traced particles, which requires ray traced reflections to also be enabled. As you likely know from my previous benchmarking video of the other Diablo 4 settings, these are particles. And in theory, they should be reflected in the water when set to on. The drop in frames suggests the game is attempting to render the particles reflection, but it's likely that due to the extremely blurry reflections, they simply are not actually visible, making this setting one of the worst settings to enable in Diablo 4. Unfortunately, it's not the only horrible setting in Diablo 4, there's several others, which you can view in my other video, which benchmarks and analyzes the rest of the graphical settings, which you can view here.
please subscribe so you can get my optimal settings for all your favorite games. Till next time, happy gaming.